stage, but go to the stage now. Amen. People who God are prepared to speak truth with boldness. Amen. I'm telling you, I'm prophesying. You're going to remember this day. You're going to remember this Sunday. God says, out of this mess, I am challenging some people on what's going on in their personal lives so I can get them where they need to be. Because I've ordained them to be spokesperson for me. Amen. My God, I feel that. And I know I'm talking about five or six of y'all here right now. I'm talking to you, God, is speaking directly to you. I've ordained you to be a spokesperson for me. I am cleaning up some stuff that's going on in your life. The way that people are responding to you right now and the way people are dealing with you is not by happenstance. They're doing it by the Spirit. Because I'm trying to get something into you that when you stand up, you stand up with a clear conscience, with a pure heart and a clean spirit. Wow. Your behavior might not be clean with your spirit, but after this. Amen. I release you to prosper. I release you to overcome. If you're watching me this morning and you never know Christ as your Savior, I challenge you to receive him today because that's where we're actually start. We're forgiving salvation, justification, and now God has no problem with you. He says, you are far less before me, holy, unblameable, unreprovable in my sight. If you receive that, say amen. Amen. I only need the people who believe this. If you know that you are far less and at peace with God, clap your hands this morning, please. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on. Amen. Now you may be seated. We're going to receive our offering. If you need an envelope, if you're going to use a card, I'm going to